Hey everybody, so I thought I would give you an update on the issue with the Parrot Anafi drone and that it doesn't recognize memory cards above 32 gigabyte. Parrot have since acknowledged this and have just recently updated the free flight software 6.4.2 um, for iOS. I do want to just highlight that this does seem to be a problem with iOS software only and not on Android. Um, so if you have an iPhone and you're experiencing this, let me talk through the fix and I'm going to try and do it today with a brand new memory card still sealed and I'm going to follow the instructions that Parrot sent over. So let me just read out what these are. So what Parrot have said is, insert the original SD card into the Anafi drone, turn the drone on and connect the controller to the iPhone uh, with Free Flight 6 application, go to the gallery Select SD card, select format, power the drone off, take off the original SD card and insert your new SD card into the drone, power on the drone again, go to the gallery, select SD card, select format, restart your drone and this should have resolved your issues. So just highlighting that text there, hopefully you can see that and I'll put this in the commentary below on the video. So let's try this out. Hopefully I can get the camera to sit still and I can give you enough of a viewpoint of exactly what's going on here. Should have everything in front of me to try and do this all in one shot would be my ideal scenario. So I've got my phone here, got my drone, got my original SD card, which is just here. Uh, this is a SanDisk card that was provided with the Anafi, 16 gigabyte. Got my battery, got my controller and we're good to go. So let's Put the card in the drone. I must say that uh, this connection is really poor. This little uh, um, flap solution is, is pretty uh, disappointing. But uh, there we go, so let's connect the battery. I'm going to Move the drone slightly out of the way. Connect in my phone. It's asking me to connect, so I'll turn the drone on first. I'm going to allow to connect. So the drone is just calibrating now, which is great. Pretty quick response. The app is searching for the drone. So we can see here, hopefully just here, that it's discovered the memory card straight away, which is great. It's exactly what we want. I'm going to click on it now. You can see at the bottom that I can do a format card, so I'm going to press that format. So I'm going to do quick format. Now I'm going to specify that in the instructions it doesn't specify from uh, Parrot whether you should do a full format or a quick format, so let's do quick format. So it's effectively done that now. Click continue. I'm going to go back to the main screen again, you can see card is free, so that's great. So now what I'm going to do is just leave my phone down for a second or two. I'm just going to move that here. Let me power off the drone. Drone's off, so I'm going to just disconnect the battery here. Take out this SD card. So that's the original sand disk removed. Place that here. Now, brand new in. Uh, bought this from Amazon just a couple of days ago. So this is 120 gigabytes. This is an A2 card uh, from SanDisk. So let's open this up. Packaging. 
Okay, so we've got the sand disc card here. I'm just going to place that in the drone. Close the flap over. Now just going to reinstall the battery. All right, so as per the instructions, power off the drone, which we've done, take off the original SD card, which we've completed, power on the drone again, and go to gallery and select SD card. So again, I've got the phone here, it's connected in, so let's power up the drone. Okay, so the phone, uh, the, um, Anafi is just calibrating, which is great. The app is searching for the drone. Still searching. Still no connection to the drone. So let's just do a quick power off and let's go again. Just gonna reconnect the phone. Okay, so now what we've got is a message saying no SD card. So when I press gallery, no options to format, no options to do anything with the SD card, no SD card, hopefully you can see that there, no options to do anything. So again, I just want to highlight this doesn't seem to be a problem for everybody, um, but this is an iPhone 8 Plus. I'm running the latest version of the software. And um, let me just go in and see if I can find any information about that. So again, I can go to fly. No option for SD card again. And so I really just want to highlight, this is supposed to be Pirate's Fix. And as you can see, I can use the 16 gigabyte card that was purchased with the drone, or so, sorry, supplied with the drone. But anything above that, which seems to be 32 gig or above, or certainly 32 gig seems to be okay, but anything above 32 gig, so 64, 128, doesn't work regardless of the card that you choose. So disappointing, again, I'd throw it back to Parrot and say, come on guys, let's get a fix in place. This is an expensive piece of hardware. I wanna use it properly. I don't want to have to keep changing out that card, especially considering how flimsy the connector is. I want to be able to store a lot of data on it. Help us please.